U.S. deploys F-22 Raptors within striking distance from Russia, first forward deployment since Ukraine war. The U.S. Air Force's F-22 Raptors assigned to the 90th Fighter Squadron have been forward deployed to the 32nd Tactical Air Base in Ask, Poland, the U.S. Air Force in Europe said in a statement. The latest development marks the F-22's first deployment to Europe since the start of the Russian invasion. This fifth-generation fighter jet supports NATO's air shielding mission. According to reports, six Raptors, out of a total of 12, have already arrived at the Ask Air Force Base in central Poland. The mission will be focused on protecting the airspace along NATO's eastern borders and thwarting any potential Russian aggression. A few days ago, the F-22s landed at RAF Lakenheath in the UK while en route to Poland, as reported by Eurasian Times. The 158th Fighter Wing of the Vermont Air National Guard, which has been employing its F-35 Lightning II fleet to carry out NATO's air policing mission, will be replaced by the F-22s of the 90th Fighter Squadron, based in Alaska. The three-month rotational F-35 Lightning II deployment began on May 2 and ended on August 3 at Spangdalem Air Base in Germany, after which the aircraft was flown back to Vermont. In terms of its integration with NATO's air shielding mission, the Air Force anticipates a smooth transition from the F-35 force of the 158th Fighter Wing to the F-22s of the 90th Fighter Squadron. The NATO air shielding mission integrates Allied air and surface-based air and missile defense units into the NATO integrated air and missile defense system under NATO command and control, the USAF said in a press release. It will provide a near-seamless shield from the Baltic to Black Seas ensuring NATO allies are better able to safeguard and protect alliance territory, populations, and forces from air and missile threat, the USAF added. The Raptor is a crucial part of the Global Strike Task Force and is designed to project air dominance rapidly and at great distances to defeat threats. First kill opportunity against threats is provided by a combination of sensor capacity, integrated avionics, situational awareness, and weapons. The F-22 has an advanced sensor suite that enables the pilot to track, recognize, shoot, and eliminate air-to-air -air threats before they are discovered. It is a highly strategic platform to support NATO air shielding because it cannot be matched by any known or projected fighter aircraft. The F-22 Raptor's deployment is the latest in a series of the U.S. and its allies' declarations to create air shielding plans on the Eastern Front to counter Russian threats. The U.S. is vigorously promoting the use of fifth-generation fighter aircraft, predominantly the F-35 fighter jet, as part of a plan to intensify, strengthen, and broaden efforts to deter Russia. In addition to sending two more squadrons of U.S. F-35s to the Royal Air Force's Lakenheath base in the United Kingdom, President Biden also recently announced the establishment of a new Army headquarters in Poland. The Pentagon stated that the fifth-generation fighters will add to the air support for NATO forces throughout Europe following Biden's announcement at the NATO summit in Madrid. When it comes to strengthening deterrence against Russian aggression, the increasing number of F-35s in the U.S. fleet and across Europe is an essential stepping stone for the military alliance. As a result, more networked F-35s will be deployed across Europe, bolstering the eastern flank. Furthermore, the F-22 fighter jet's stellar support will boost NATO's overall air power. Russian aircraft have a long record of flying over eastern and northern Europe regions, frequently causing NATO fighter jets to scramble to intercept and accompany the aircraft. The military alliance has long conducted air policing operations along the eastern front to patrol the volatile region. NATO will strengthen its air defense in eastern Europe. A NATO official recently explained, NATO air shielding is an increased air and missile defense posture along the alliance's eastern flank, implemented in the wake of Russia's war on Ukraine. The alliance is now looking to bring together a broad array of allied air and missile defense options under the general command of NATO officials. A NATO spokesperson noted, it will provide a near-seamless shield from the Baltic to the Black Sea, ensuring NATO allies are better able to safeguard and protect alliance territory, populations, and forces. The U.S. and its allies try to brace their military power against Russia. Even though the alliance calls these moves purely defensive, they are forging a new defense chain aimed at Moscow. Putin rocked as six ammo dumps blown up. 
Ukraine's troops destroyed six warehouses in the Kherson region on Friday along with two Russian checkpoints hit in the village of Kornobayevka, Kyiv's Operational Command South reports. Moscow is focusing its efforts on preventing the Ukrainian army's advance in southern Ukraine. It comes as Kyiv plots a counteroffensive in the region. Britain's Ministry of Defense said in its latest intelligence briefing Russia's war on Ukraine is about to enter a new phase with the heaviest fighting shifting to a 217-mile, 350-kilometers, front line stretching southwest from Zaporizhia to Kherson, following the course of the Dnieper River. Footage emerges of enormous billowing smoke as Ukraine forces bomb Russian-occupied area. Claims have been made on social media that the fire struck Skadovsk, a port city on the Black Sea in Ukraine's Kherson region. A Twitter user shared images which appeared to show smoke and helicopters in the air nearby. Militaryland.net, a blog focused on the war, tweeted from its account, locals report several explosions in the vicinity of occupied Skadovsk, Kherson Oblast. Twitter account War Monitor wrote, Ukrainian forces hit occupied Skadovsk, Kherson region. Fellow Twitter user, Special Kherson Cat, said, Local residents report a fire near Skadovsk, Kherson region. It's not known for sure if this was the result of shelling or just a fire due to the summer heat. But Russian helicopters are showing a clear interest to it. Huvelrug Intelligence tweeted, Active fighting reported in Skadovsk, Kherson Oblast. Skadovsk has been occupied by Russian forces since February-March and is located 62 kilometers south of Kherson. Another Twitter user, Daryush Sawatsky, said, There are reports of explosions in Skadovsk, Kherson region. Russian helicopters are raised into the sky. Express.co.uk has not been able to independently verify any of the claims or reports. Ukrainian media outlet Ukrainform, citing the country's Southern Military Command, reported earlier today that Ukraine's forces engaged two command and control posts of the Russian 76th Airborne Assault Division and 49th Army in Chornobavka, outside the city of Kherson. It also said Ukraine's armed forces destroyed a Russian command and observation post in the village of Bruskinsk in an area where weapons and equipment were massed in Oleshki, Kherson region. Ukraine Forum reported six ammunition depots in the Beroslav and Kherson districts were also destroyed by artillery fire. It also said nine Russian warships and cutters are maneuvering off the coast of Crimea. Online news outlet Ukrainska Pravda reported on Sunday, July 31st, that Skadovsk had been rocked by a powerful explosion, adding preliminary reports suggested ammunition depots were destroyed.